Podcasting from her kitchen table, it's Jacqueline Jay, here with another episode of Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles, where we focus on faith, family, fun, and finance for my fierce, fly, and fabulous sisters over 40. Come on in the kitchen. Coffee's brewing. Pull up a chair and girl, let's talk. Now, here is your host for Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles, Jacqueline J. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the kitchen. Interesting article I came across not too long ago with regard to the number of people that are actually not going back to work as a result of the pandemic. The title of the article is The Great Resignation. Upwards of 40% of workers are thinking about quitting their jobs. Companies that made it through the pandemic in one piece now have a major new problem. More than a quarter of their employees may leave. So what's happening? Workers have had more than a year to reconsider work-life balance or career paths, and as the world opens back up, many of them will give their two weeks notice and make those changes they've been dreaming about. The Great Resignation is what economists are dubbing it. Surveys show anywhere from 25% to upwards of 40% of workers are thinking about quitting their jobs. I don't envy the challenge that human resources faces right now, says Anthony Klotz, an associate professor of management at Texas A&M University. A number of colliding trends are driving the resignation boom, experts say. University of Michigan economist Betsy Stevenson tells Axios, people have had a little more space to ask themselves, is this really what I want to be doing? So some are deciding they want to work fewer hours or with more flexibility to create more time for family or hobbies. Others are considering switching careers entirely. A cruise ship staffer trained and pivoted to work in a data center because the pandemic showed her the volatility of her industry. An insurance broker and her restaurant manager husband both left their jobs to start a landscaping company because they realized dur- during they realized during the pandemic that they wanted to spend more time outside. Some are quitting because their bosses won't let them work from home post pandemic. Others are leaving because they miss their offices, but their companies are now hybrid or all remote. A lot of people who want to go back are finding that the office that they come back to is not the office they left behind, Klotz says. There's not much firms can do to hold on to employees who want to switch fields. But human resources may be able to retain some workers by offering as much flexibility as possible, says Kathy Moy, chief people officer at BDO USA, a financial services company. But, but, but the big churn could ultimately be good for workers and employers. There are now a record 9.3 million open jobs in America, Axios's Felix Salmon reports, and people can still rely on unemployment insurance so they're not desperate to nab the first job offer that comes along, Stevenson says. Hopefully, we'll see a lot more people in 2022 employed and stable because they're in jobs they actually like, she says. So, what does that mean? Where are you in this entire post-pandemic process, if you will? Are you considering staying at your current job? Have you been laid off, fired, or decided to quit and do something different? If you've decided to do something different, have you actually stepped out to do whatever it is that has been laid on your heart to step out to do? Have you started? Have you started with an idea? Have you been working on it consistently? 
Are you one of those that are thinking about leaving the workforce altogether to do something completely outside of what you may have been doing for a career for any number of years? If so, I'm here to tell you and encourage you, it's not too late. So get to it. Get started. Do something to move forward with your God-given greatness and whatever it is that he has laid on your heart for your hands to do. God bless you. Until next time, come on back to the kitchen. Take care. Stay safe, be well, and be blessed. Bye now.